Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean experts. And today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the brand new Utopia of the Seas, and specifically the things that are brand new to Royal Caribbean on the Utopia. Now I'll dig in in just a moment, but keep in mind when you're ready to book your next rumor suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you reach out to the experts at Har Travel. We know the space is inside and out, and we know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and of course, get the Har Travel signature service every step of the way. Now I wanted to start off with the most important addition on the Utopia, and that of course is the expansion of Sprinkles ice cream. Now Sprinkles is where you can get soft serve, and I've always thought it was a little weird that you can get soft serve at a place named Sprinkles without any sprinkles on top. And so what they've done now is they've added a separate zone where you can put your own toppings on board whether it's those chocolate sprinkles, those rainbow sprinkles, or whatever you love on top of your ice cream cone, make sure you stop by early and often, and then again and again for this delicious complimentary option on board. Now there's quite a few different places where you can dine. They've leaned into some of the all-time favorites with Royal Caribbean, but they've made some big changes. And one of those changes is Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar. This was a brand new concept on Freedom of the Seas when they renovated the ship. They've added it to several ships since, but they've doubled down and they've now turned it into an incredible two-story dining venue with an outdoor deck where you can dine al fresco. Everyone loves Italian food, especially when it's delicious handmade pasta, wonderful enhanced pizzas. They do have some amazing pizza options. They even have some wonderful over-the-top dessert options that they make for you in the pizza oven. If you love Italian food, you now have twice as much space, plenty of space to spread out, enjoy, and you can even take out the incredible views down the boardwalk. Now for me, my favorite place to dine on Royal Caribbean is always Izumi. I love sushi, I love sashimi, of course I love the hibachi experience, I love everything about the Japanese deliciousness that is Izumi. And they've moved Izumi to a larger spot in Central Park. So you'll be able to have Azumi in the park and not only having that wonderful hibachi experience, the delicious sushi bar experience, of course you can dine between both, but now you're gonna have a takeout window. So if you get a little bit hungry, as I tend to do five, 10, 20 times a day on a cruise ship, you can stop by, grab your favorite roll, head out into the park, listen to some soothing music, maybe even stop by the trellis bar for a drink and really, really enjoy. Now, speaking of fast, casual ways to dine, there's quite a few that you'll have on Utopia that you've seen before, but brand new to Utopia is going to be a food truck on the pool deck. So if you only wanna walk a few steps, grab some food to refuel, head back to your deck chair, you can enjoy that. Of course, El Loco Fresh is right around the corner as well. Now, a brand new concept to the Oasis class of ships is the immersive dining experience that right now Royal is just teasing. It's the concept of heading on to a classic train experience. Of course, they're gonna be taking advantage of some virtual reality, if you will. So you'll head on in, you'll have some delicious drinks at the station, and when the whistle blows, you're gonna head out on a culinary journey and a train experience. So as you travel with the virtual screens, you're gonna have different ways to delight your taste buds, whether it's on the drinks or the delicious food options, you're gonna be able to really enjoy dinner and a show to another level. Now, Royal Caribbean has dabbled in tiki bars to this point, but they're doubling down on the pesky parrot. I love that. To me, there's just something magical about a tiki bar, just in the same way that there's something magical about being on a cruise ship. Putting together two of my favorite things, you're gonna have those wonderful drinks, a little bit of entertainment, and probably some small light bites to eat. So if you wanna be dazzled, as if you're in French Polynesia or somewhere in the Pacific, make sure you enjoy that tiki bar experience at the Pesky Parrot. 
Now, something else that's brand new will be the entertainment on board. Now, they haven't announced all of that yet, but they're gonna have a brand new show in the Aqua Theater, brand new show on ice, and then two brand new shows to Royal Caribbean in the main theater. And in addition to all of that, you're also gonna have some brand new room and suite options to choose from. The one I'm most excited about are the Solarium Suites. They sit on the wings of the bridge, which means you're gonna be able to capture some of the most incredible views on any cruise ship in the world. And to top it off, these are star class suites, which means you're gonna get everything that Royal Caribbean has to offer, the beverage package, unlimited specialty dining, Wi-Fi, included tips, and of course, the Royal Genie to grant your wishes throughout the stay on board. Now on top of all of that, you're gonna have the brand new Sky Junior Suites. We've seen that these will be debuting on Icon just a few months before, but they've sold so well that they're adding them onto Utopia as well. And a brand new category of interior stateroom, it's capped at double occupancy and it's a square design, so just a little bit different with the options. Now something else that's brand new is putting a brand new ship on three and four day cruises. What I love about that is if you only have three or four days to get away, you can take advantage of the newest, most incredible ship in the world. And in addition to that, if you have a little bit more time, you can take three, four, and three, patch it together for a 10-day cruise, get three stops at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's incredible private island experience, also that NASA Beach Club, they're building it right now. It's gonna be another private island experience as well, so you can really enjoy those options. Now, however you wanna enjoy the Utopia, we've got a full guide if you wanna dig in a little bit deeper. Of course, you can check out our full tour of the Wonder of the Seas. The ships are very similar and it's gonna give you a really good idea what it's all about. We have the full tour of Perfect Day at Coco Cay, so you can see where you're gonna stop. And on top of all of that, keep in mind that this space will go insanely fast. So when you're ready to book your Utopia cruise or any rumor suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you reach out to Har Travel. We know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.